Hey, hey, I want to share some information about some technology that I use to protect the devices on my home network from accessing websites that are not good for the devices because they're known to contain malware, phishing, scams, or otherwise um, unhealthy content for, for the devices themselves. Maybe they'll compromise the devices or expose them to uh, the viruses, etc. And this technology also has the capability of preventing people in my home from accessing site, sites and content that's unhealthy to them because it's filled with violence, pornography, or otherwise adult or inappropriate content. There's a lot of technology out there, a lot of different strategies people can use to kind of keep certain sites out there and not coming into their devices and keep themselves from accessing those devices or at least make certain people aware of how other people are using uh, their devices to access the internet. Um, the technology that I'm talking about does not require you to purchase any hardware, doesn't require you purchase any subscriptions, it's totally free and it can be installed on uh, almost any device. The caveat is it's primarily targeted and it's most easily targeted at home networks. So I have this week uh, set up on my home router so that every device that goes through my home router is not going to be able to access some of this content. I'm gonna explain the technology and how it works just to get a bit of a, more of an idea of how the internet functions and uh, it might be interesting or helpful for you. If not, you can just fast forward a little bit past the graphics and you'll get to the, the good part, but I'll try and keep it fairly short. I do enjoy talking about stuff like this. It's kind of interesting to me. It also helps me understand how the whole setup works and where where specifically the uh, intervention is for, my, for the protection of my home network, how that's all set up. So here we go. If you are on a device and you are using a web browser, or some other program that accesses the internet, um, a lot of the time your browser is going to be doing something called uh, resolving a domain name. Now what that means is in your browser, if you type in www.example.com, okay, your browser has to find out before it can load the content example.com it has to know where to go to get that content because example.com is a name but it's not a location web locations on the web are servers and servers have numbers assigned to them kind of like phone numbers you can think about so like 212.43.71.11 that might be a server location somewhere i'm sure that's a server address somewhere out there on the internet and um, you will be able to find, there will, there'll be some data stored there that can be loaded by your browser. Now, we can't ever remember, we can't ever remember all the numbers um, associated with the web pages. And so that's why the, there are domain names. It's easy to remember example.com and it's hard to remember the, what I just said. So to help your browser get to where it needs to go using just the name, you could think about it as a phone book. There are phone books out there and it's called DNS or domain name system. And it looks like this. Your browser, your web browser wants to find, uh, it wants to display information or the user wants to see information, whoops, on uh, example.com. Here it is. So they type that into the browser or they click a link that's directing them to the but the web browser doesn't know where this information is stored. It just has the name. So the first thing it does is it sends a request to a domain name server, domain name system, DNS server. The DNS server is like a giant phone book. And it says, okay, example.com, here's the number for that location. And it returns a number to the browser. Then the browser sends a request to the server this address, one it got from the phone book, the web server receives the request, and then it sends the information for that website to your browser. Your browser loads the code and you see code loaded on your browser and see the website. So that's the whole system. Now this part here, this whole DNS, it's called DNS resolution, request a name and you receive the, the address. This takes milliseconds, very, very fast. 
But if this doesn't happen, your browser has no way of knowing where to get this example.com. It doesn't know where that is. So DNS servers are critical for loading web pages. The neat thing about DNS filtering is um, it uses information here to block uh, your browser from loading things that you don't want from a, a web server that has content that you don't want. And, and how it works is you're, there are a number, you can think about it as phone books, and there's actually a number of different phone books out there. There's a number of different DNS servers out there. Um, Google is a big one, and Google Google's uh, domain server, along with many other ones, such as Cloudflare, um, I'm not familiar with all the names of all the other major ones. There's many out there. Well, they uh, they have, they're, they're, they're totally, it's every website um, that's ever been registered and and the server address that that's there so they, it's like a phone book with everybody in it but there are other phone books that have been curated so that they don't have the names of any bad websites or sites with certain types of content and um, so by using a different phone book when you make a request let's say example.com is actually a site that's known to have uh, adult content well, if you look at a, a normal phone book, a normal DNS server, like server, for example, well, it's going to send you back the information because it has everything in it. But another DNS server might say, ah, we actually know that example.com has content that is not helpful for families, not considered family friendly. So it's, we, do, we, had, we are not even going to have this phone number in our book, which means that browsers that are looking at this specific DNS server Going to send example.com but it's not going to find it because it's actually not in that server which means that this doesn't get sent back and without this address your browser can't resolve the request it doesn't know where to go it doesn't get any directions for the name that it requested so by using a different phone book here don't get this your browser doesn't get this and it can't even fetch the information that's out there on the web server that has the content that Want and you get an error. Look at my great graphics. Error cannot resolve. It'll say can not <laughs> resolve. Something along those lines. Can't resolve the request. DNS server did not provide anything back. So DNS filtering. DNS filtering is all about changing the phone book that your devices use to a phone book that doesn't have. Sites like, say, Pornhub, or it doesn't have certain websites that are known to be just riddled with malware. Okay. Now, the easiest one, I'll just show you a website of uh, a website. Of, um, and if you're a little bit tech savvy, you can probably do this yourself. Um, it is Cloudflare. So Cloudflare has their normal uh their normal dns their dns server is 1111 and there are settings on your device on your on your on your home device every device that connects to the internet every browser um, it'll have settings for okay what is your dns server that you're going to use to look up websites well 1111 is a famous one for cloudflare cloudflare is one of the fastest dns providers in the world so people can use this to resolve their websites very fast 1111, I mean, you can read this. You know, two years ago, we asked 111 is a secure, fast, privacy first DNS resolver, free for anyone to use. Today, look at this 200 billion DNS requests per day. That's crazy. Okay. But they have introduced another one here called 1111 for families. And what it does, you can read here, you can go to the website if you want. Um, I'll link it in the video here. You can use 1112 or 1113, okay? No malware or adult content. And by setting the information here, okay, for your IP2 and IP6, or sorry, IPv4 and IPv6 addresses, by using this, um, it'll make it impossible for your web browser to, uh, to, to accidentally access or resolve any names, any, any internet requests that have to do with known content known adult content website. 
Um, if you're a little bit text, if you want to implement this on your home, you can go ahead. There's information here. Um, okay. Yeah, anyway, there's information on the website. I'll link it below. And if you're even a little bit tech savvy, you should be able to follow it and apply the devices. Now, I have this applied to my home router. It means any devices connected to my internet, they're, they're going to stall out if you're trying to load a bad site. There are ways around this, okay? Um, if you install a VPN or if you use a VPN regularly, a VPN is going to, uh, it's, it's going to take you, it's going to take the process around this DNS resolution. It's going to, you're going to connect directly to your virtual private network. So somewhere in some other, and then that computer is, it's going to be whatever that DNS is using. It's going to be resolving the sites and it's going to be sending it back to you. So if, if you have devices that use DNS, I mean, uh, VPNs that will bypass this, um, this measure. But if you are a parent okay, and you have a home network and your kids are just, maybe they're using, starting to use the internet a little bit. Um, this is a no brainer. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost you any speed either. Um, your network re resolutions will still be lightning fast. Um, but if they get tempted to click somewhere or if they click on a link that takes them somewhere else, it'll block that request. It won't get through. Um, it's not perfect, but it is um, awesome and free way to prevent uh, accidental or you know early incursions uh, from your kids into websites they shouldn't go to. It'll also protect your devices from malware, sites that have malware, like a link that you thought a really good deal on some cheap <laughs> something from a store and it turns out that's actually a storefront that has an online storefront that's known for malware okay it won't load those sites at all so it's an extra layer of protection totally free um i'll link the website below if you have any questions about how to install that um you can talk to me or any friends that you have tech savvy with hey help me uh change the dns server that my router points to Maybe someone in your tech savvy or in your family will be able to do that for you. Um, I'd be willing to help you too. If you want some help? Or, but the guides are all fairly simple. As I said, I have it installed on my router, which means all the devices in my home are using that safer phone book uh, when it comes time to resolving their internet requests. Um, now, if you have a cell phone, that's using a cellular connection and it's not going through the router. But if you're connected to the Wi-Fi and the requests are going through the Wi-Fi, then also uh, it'll be using that phone book and solving those requests. So that's one piece of technology that you can use to protect your home. Uh, and it's called DNS filtering. And the service that I mentioned was called it's 1111 for families. And it's Cloudflare. Link is in the video, wherever this is posted. If you have any questions, come talk to me. And if you are looking for more information on how you can uh, protect your family from the incursions and the opportunities of content to kind of invade your space, um, which you should be thinking about that if you haven't already, then let me know because um, a lot more information out there and I'd be happy to pass on uh, some good stuff for you. Anyway, I just wanted to share that piece for you and I hope some of you find that helpful. Thanks.